Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about preferences and extended preferences inside AllCAD Capture. So these are just settings um, that you can use to customize AllCAD Capture uh, to suit the way you want to work or the way you want things to be visible. So if we look under the options menu, there's options for preferences and extended preferences. If we go to the preferences, obviously we've got our default colors. We've got the themes here. So for the dark theme, for the, for the, for the, the toolbars and stuff, or for the actual schematic, we can have a separate theme for, for dark or light. Different color options, there's some grid settings, pan and zoom, the select window, how the select window works. There's a miscellaneous tab that includes things like your, your schematic page editing, um, what sort of line and fill styles work for, for symbols, what your, uh, the session log font is, whether you've got inter -tool communication enabled for things like when you're cross probing and cross placing with AllCAD uh, PCB editor. Um, and how parts are automatically referenced. Um, there's also a more preferences button here and we can either get access to it from more preferences or what we can do is go to options and extended preferences and this brings up some more options that we have so if you look at say the designs and libraries um, whether we back annotate pin numbers whether we draw arrows on input pins um, whether we enable a global uh, intertool communication for nets Lots of different functions here, configuration files, you, you, if you want to have local Allegro CFG files, prefprop.txt files for your uh, filters. All these options can be stored more locally or they can have use the default installation one. So um, it's worthwhile having a look here just to see if there's anything that might make your designs and your schematic viewing um, easier. 